When creating a doctoral dissertation or a master's thesis, it may be necessary to change the way you have your page numbering and formatting in your document. In this tutorial, we will look at how to insert section breaks and changing and formatting page numbers based on these section breaks. The first step is to go to the Insert drop-down menu and insert page numbers. We're going to click on the Format button and we're going to change our number format to the Roman numerals. Click OK. We'll notice also that it's going to place our numbers at the right of the page. We can make changes on this and insert it to the left, center, or whatever is necessary in our particular formatting. We're just going to go ahead and click on right in this case, and we can also change if we want it at the top of the page or the bottom of the page. We're going to place this at the bottom right. We are also going to show the number on the first page. We can deselect this and it will be number one, but in fact it will not show number one. In this case, we're going to go ahead and show this on the first page and click OK. We now notice that at the bottom of the page we have our Roman numerals. We're going to go to page number 10 and we have part two. In part two, we want to change our numbering system. So what I'm going to do is go to the bottom of page number nine, and with my cursor at the bottom of page number nine, I'm going to go to insert break. I'm going to have a section break on the next page. What I'm going to do now is go to this particular page on number 10, and I'm going to go to Insert Page Numbers. We're now going to format the way we have our numbers on the page. I'm going to change this to the number one, two, three, uh, and so forth. I'm going to start at number one. I can start this at a different number, but in fact, I'm going to start this at number one. I'm going to click OK and OK. We'll notice now that that is number one, even though that's page number 10, it is number one. And we'll notice that before that, we have our Roman numerals as specified in the document. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the pages into our next section area right here, and I'm going to add another section break. I'm going to break it right at this point um, by going to the bottom of this page and insert break, section break, next page. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the numbering pattern here. Well, notice that it starts off with number one again, but I don't want to do that. I'm going to go to insert page numbers and I'm going to change the format to lettering. So I'm going to begin with A, and it's going to start off with A. But in this example, I'm going to just change this to C, so that you'll see how that changes. So we'll start it off with C so that you'll understand how that works, clicking OK. And we'll notice that on the first page of this particular section break, we start off with C. If we scroll up the page, we'll now see that we have our numbering. And further up the page, we will see we, in fact, have our Roman numerals. So this is how you create section breaks and change the formatting for those particular section breaks and how we want to number our pages. Good luck in creating your document, and I wish you much success on your academic pursuits.